All right, we're gonna open up a pack of cons of Tarkir and see what we would first pick. First off, we have some kind of bird, because he has wings. It's a Sage Eye Harrier, five mana, four colorless, and a white for a one five. Flying, and it also has the morph for cost for four. That's okay-ish. Barrage of Boulders, three mana, two colorless, and a red. Deals one damage to each creature you don't control. And if it's ferocious, you have a creature that's four power or greater. And creatures can't block this turn either. That's pretty awesome. There's sorcery speed. Rotting Mastodon. Five mana, four colorless, and a black for a giant two eight. That does absolutely nothing because he's dead. He's a zombie elephant. Woo. Savage Punch. Two mana. One colorless, a green target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Um, it has a ferocious, so if you have a creature bigger than four, um, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn before it fights. So that's nice. All right, force away. Two colorless, two mana, one colorless, and a blue. Return target creature to its owner's hands. Um, ferocious, you get to you can draw discard a draw a card. If you do, you get to discard a card. You have to discard a card. All right. Bring low. Four mana, three colorless, and a red deals three damage if it ha to a creature. If it has a plus one, plus one on counter on it, you get to deal five instead. Goodbye, Abzan creature. I just brung you down low? Yeah, sure. Rugged Highlands, you're tapped. Enter um, into the battlefield. Tap, gain a life. Tap for red or green. Just guy student. Two colorless, two mana, two... Let me get this right. Two mana, one colorless, and a white for a 1-3 creature with the prowess. So if you, uh, uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Abomination of Gould. Six mana, three colorless, a black, a green, and a blue for a 3-4 flying abomination horror dude. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you can draw a card. If you do, you get to disc you have to discard a card, but still drawing a card, discarding a guard, and soul tie is fantastic. It also has a morph cost of five, two colorless, a black, a green, and a blue. All right, Scaron of Glacier. I, I, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry. Something of Glaciers, four mana, two colorless, two blue for a two five. You can also pay a blue, and it gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. So that's interesting. I like it. It's interesting. Four mana for a two five with possibilities. Soltai Flare. Who? That sounds fun. Four mana, three colorless, and a green. For a three, four, whenever a creature you control with toughness of four or greater dies, you gain four life. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that's fun. Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. Ooh. I don't know, but it's a spirit dragon, and it's a tomb, and there looks like dragon bones in graveyards. It looks sweet. It's a land. Tap it, to add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Um, pay two and tap it, and you can gain one life for each colorless creature you control. That's okay. I'm, I'm not that happy about it. But, it looks really cool. Our rare is... Oh, oh, Ankle Shaker! Ankle Shaker! Um, if you haven't watched me open my fat pack, I love this card a lot. Or the spoilers when it first came out. Ah, seriously, this card's awesome. It's five mana, two colorless, a red, a white, and a black for a 2 2 with haste. And whenever he attacks, creatures you control gain first strike and death touch until end of turn. And this is the most amazing combination ever. Like, first strike and death touch is just plain evil and rude, and. Oh, it's beautiful in an aggro deck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really, I really like this card a lot. <laughs> and, ooh, a foil plains and a forest and a morph card. So, we are first picking in this one because I like playing aggro and Shankler is, he's adorable. He's like this little goblin. I imagine him this little goblin dude like Gimli, but a goblin and not a dwarf. With the little Shank just being like poking things and they fall over and... <laughs> It's weird. But anyway, let me know if I picked the right one in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more.